Hello YouTube, what's going on boys and girls? Yes, you've guessed the time. I'm back with another collection. I'm so sorry for the lack of posts over the last couple of weeks. Um, I've just been so busy. Honestly, it's just, just been crazy. But this is a collection that I've picked up today, all from one place. And yeah, there's some remarkable examples in here, some stunning stuff. All of this is going to be for sale. Jordan's Vintage World is the eBay store, if you already don't know. Link in the description below, but just Google it, Facebook it, you will find me. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to take you around and just show you some of the stuff that is actually here. And yeah, I'm excited about it. I know, like I've said in previous videos, it doesn't matter how much stock that I do buy, the feeling, the excitement, the chase, it never gets old. So I'm back on a, well, seven and a half hour road trip today. So it's been a long day already. But nonetheless, let's take you into this because I think after the fun with some of these Corgi models is the artwork on the box. Do you know what I'm saying? But as you can see, the condition on these stunning so i'm just going to pan you slowly through so you can get an idea of what's going on i tell you what i have well you have just missed you'll be able to see it on my socials i had a gift set one of these absolutely mint in the box it lasted about half hour on ebay if that it was gone straight away stunning the acuria cost one of my personal favorite models let me keep going through how cool is that mustang tim plate stunning all stuff of that era just works through now these are nice you might be thinking of a quick glance they're the same no they're not this one's got the milk churns and this one has the actual cement load and the planks which is cool now being a volkswagen man obviously i'm going to fall in love with anything volkswagen but as we pan you through land rover is in gorgeous condition as well it's an orange in color but stunning let's keep you going now, if you see two boxes like that, sorry, pointing in the wrong way, then I should actually look at the screen, shouldn't I? If you see two boxes, it means there's different colors. So these are different versions. Gorgeous. And then we're gonna come to the top of the David Brown track that is, and we'll touch base on the artwork again, because I think that just makes it. And also Concord, not necessarily a scarce model, but it's nice to see it mint in the box, undamaged. Nice, very nice. Bygone era is what it is. Through to what we've got going over here. I've got the two little police beetles. I've got the Smith's Carrier Mobile Canteen, which I love. And of course, the Surfing Mini. Stunning, complete with the figures, two boards. This, this is so crisp. With the two suitcases in there also. I've got the lovely bends. Now, as we come on over here, we've got some early dinkies. Um, late 1940s, early 50s. And one that's going to stand out, well, you might not even know this, is this one. Doesn't normally have green hubs. Green hubs is an export version, which means it's considerably more valuable than the normal one, but also more scarce. Love that, rare little thing. I don't think I've ever had one in green hubs, so it's nice to have. And of course, like all the Studebakers and all this sort of stuff, I just love them, the Lincoln. Gorgeous, look at that. Lincoln Zephyr. And I actually have a friend who owns a real one of these. And you can see it going up and down Pendine Beach, well, it used to be able to. Yeah, Studebaker too. These are lovely. I just love this era of dinky and all the American stuff. Stunning. And then we've got a spot on bus. Again, absolutely gorgeous. It's in pretty good condition as well, to be fair. Now, anything spot on is just desirable. You just don't get them. You know, they're just so much harder. To, well, they're so harder to find compared to Corgi and Dinky. They weren't made... You know, in such productions, I'm struggling with words today, boys and girls. I'll be honest, you can tell I'm running on about four hours sleep. But that's all right. I'm not complaining. I just wanted to come through and just show you some of the stuff that's going on. And head over to the eBay store, yeah, because there's over 700 items on there. And I would say a good two, 300 of those you haven't seen in videos. And stock is li being listed every single day. It's turning over every single day. So you've got to be quick in some aspects. But yeah, I won't, brag well, I won't keep going on in this video anymore. I just wanted to bring this to you. And yeah, just, just show it to you because there's some stunning stuff. I'm hyped over it and I just wanted to show it. And also, when I'm there, I've started a new channel called Journeyman. The link for that will be in the video below. And if you're into abandoned buildings, points of interest, museums, camping, van life, history, um, it's a really cool channel, I'll be honest with you. There's some good stuff on there already. It's about 10, 11 videos on there. It's growing quite rapidly, which is nice. Appreciate all the support. Um, the stuff that we've got planned for the UK around Europe, America, etc. It's gonna get really good. So I'd love to have you along for the journey. But more toy hunting videos coming soon. And how do you feel about me doing the whole process from 
leaving the house in the morning, driving X amount of hours, you know, just bringing you a bit of, you know, snippets of what's going on in my life. Because, like, I know you see this on my kitchen table, but you haven't seen the chatting about a deal beforehand, the seven hours round trip picking it up, meeting the characters. So I might start doing that. Let me know your thoughts and uh, drop it in the comments below. But anyway, I wish everyone the best of luck hunting. I will, well, good health, just good vibes. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy now.